What is going on guys? After today's video, I learned that I have spent way more money on this car than I had initially expected. And uh, I'm gonna break this thing down with you and explain to you guys every bit of the cost that it has taken so far to build this car to where it's at currently. Hey Daniel, cue the intro. First off, I do apologize to you guys if this is quite a long video because I do have quite a large amount of things to cover, but first off, let's jump right into it and uh, we'll talk about the background of this car and how I got it and things like that. So I actually bought this car just over one year ago. Last year, I actually bought it for myself for a birthday present. I sold the Camaro that I had had at the time. It was a great car. It just broke a lot. I did enjoy the car, but I have much, much more enjoyed the car that I have currently, which is this Mustang. And this car has really pioneered the entire way for my YouTube channel to have even become successful and um, pretty much my life has completely changed in the last year and I don't want to say it's completely because of a car but I will say that I feel like the fact that I made the decision to buy that car really really made things go one way where if I wouldn't have made that decision it could have gone the other way so I do have a lot of love for this car for that um, it's making probably right at about a thousand horsepower to the wheel and I'm gonna hopefully break this thing down for you to let you guys know how much it has cost me so far Far to get to where I am with this car. So I do apologize right off the bat. I do have my phone here because it's a lot of stuff and I have all the prices written down as well as the total already, which you guys are seriously gonna lose your mind. Do not skip to the end of this video to hear it, I'm telling you. Follow along, it's it's seriously wild. I guess I can kind of introduce the car. Uh, this is a 2016 Mustang GT Performance Pack. Uh, it's also a GT Premium, which means that it basically comes with a few goodies that most of these Mustangs do not come with. The Performance Pack actually includes the Brembo brakes on the front as well as the rear. Also, if you notice on this car right here, check this out. This is a Roush sticker, and that is because this car actually came dealer installed since it was brand new with a Roush supercharger. So it's not actually a Roush package car, but it is a GT performance pack that the dealer uh, basically installed a Roush supercharger kit onto from the time that it was new. So since it was new, this car has been a supercharged car. It's just not a Roush. Basically, the only difference is that it doesn't have the Roush appearance package. So so it's got essentially every single other thing plus a little bit more. I think the most difficult thing about this video is that I have been through so many setups on the car that it's actually really hard to track how much money that I have actually put into the car out of my pocket. Being that we've gone through literally superchargers, engines, different injector setups, different suspension setups. We've gone through literally all kinds of stuff on this car and as well as a lot of these deals have been actually sponsored. So I can't really disclose the information because of privacy and everything like that. But what I can do is break down every part that is on the car currently and basically tell you guys how much it would take for somebody else to basically 100% replicate this car as it currently sits. So I guess we might as well start with the cost of the car itself. So the car I actually picked up from a friend of mine that owned a dealership here out of town um, and I have actually bought a car or two from them in the past and he basically helped me out. They had told me that they got the car back from auction and I was like okay so he sent me over the details of it and said that he bought it for relatively cheap because the auctioneers didn't actually know that the car was supercharged whenever they bought it. So he actually bought it for uh, nearly the price of a stock GT, which is pretty sick. And he actually let me in on a great deal on the car because of that. So I got it with 13, 14 something thousand miles, I think. And I paid $33,000, well, $33,500 after tax. Absolutely no issues whenever I got it and still same condition, great condition, never had any issues. Uh, well, well, we'll get into that. On top of that $33,500 tab, we've got at the heart of this car a VMP Gen 3 supercharger, which actually retails with the entire kit, including the install tune. Everything else is $11,099. So kind of a high price on that, but very, very worth it, as you guys have seen. On top of that, we've also got the VMP billet fuel rails right here for $329, as well as ID 1300X injectors. $1,800 is what those cost. And then we've got the four triple fuel pump right here. The main part 
part to this fuel system is actually underneath that cover right there as you guys probably saw it is a triple pump so three very large fuel pumps to be able to put out enough fuel to support everything that we've got going on here and that fuel system including the controller the uh, lines the regulator the everything else the fuel filter is right about three thousand dollars after that we've got our JLT intake which was three hundred and forty nine dollars and then on the other side we've got our JLT catch can over here which was a hundred and thirty nine dollars and aside the supercharger we've got this Scott hasty bracket right here which is actually meant to increase belt wrap around that pulley right there the upper pulley on the supercharger that way you're eliminating belt slip and that bracket including the pulley and the belts were around I think three hundred and fifty dollars so kind of an expensive mod there again but very worth it to keep that belt wrapped around that supercharger pulley next up we've got our Mishimoto expansion tank here that was hundred and seventy six dollars and then the next thing that kind of doesn't really count yet because it's not in the car but in this crate right here as you guys have seen in a few videos we've got this gorgeous MMR 1500 horsepower engine all options are upgraded on it so it is a very very stout motor that I'm waiting to put in the car whenever either the stock short block blows up or we just have a little bit of free time on our hands it's been very very busy lately we've had lots of events so the only way that we're gonna have time is if the car basically gives up and as you guys have seen 8500 rpm on this car has not wanted to give up yet so it's holding on for dear life. The cost on that engine with all upgrades as well as gaskets and everything else that you're gonna need, that is $10,000. Then we've got a Palm Beach Dino 68 millimeter throttle body right here. That is actually going to cost $635. Next up, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but we've got our Catalyst Corsa headers here. Those are gonna cost for this car, unfortunately, $1,400. So quite an expense there as well. And then back here along the back, if you guys see, I've got the Corsa Sport complete cat back as well with the black chrome quad tip seriously nice exhaust could not recommend a better exhaust for this car but unfortunately the entire exhaust costs seventeen hundred and fifty dollars on top of the fourteen hundred dollar expense for the header so Corsa is very proud of that system but they have rights to do so this thing sounds like an absolute beast with that exhaust and I would not want any other exhaust on this car ever in the future to be honest with you now next up is something that I haven't really mentioned in a long time but check that out the car still does have the diode dynamics s 550 headlights in it they are basically rgb drls for the car you can actually change them to whatever color that you want to it's <laughs> Pretty neat but um, as basically ricer of an expense as that is that was $140 to get the RGB boards in the headlights as well as another $250 to be able to paint the housings black which is something that a lot of people probably don't even notice about this car but if you look up close to them they're not stock headlights anymore these are actually completely gloss black and paint match to the car inside of there instead of being orange and chrome like the stock ones so really ties in the look of the car very very well now after that that we've got our Shelby GT350 front end conversion on this car now whenever I purchased this front end it was very expensive somehow recently I believe it's maybe with the new models coming out and everything this bumper has dropped in price quite tremendously at only 600 or so dollars now I purchased this bumper probably 10 months ago for a thousand dollars and then paid an additional five hundred dollars in paint also very minor here but these are probably the coolest thing on the car <laughs> I don't know why I love these things so much these are the hood struts that I actually got for the car instead of having the little hood prop crappy thing right here really just makes the car look a lot nicer I guess it's like they say it's the small things right and next up if you guys see we've got the weld wheels on the car these wheels were $2,500 for the front and the rears these are 18 by fives up front 17 by 10 and a halfs in the rear so those were $2,500 plus we're looking at additional probably $1,500 just in tires now next up if we move back to the rear of the car I've got a GT350 track pack edition spoiler I've also got this wicker bill right here placed on the spoiler as well between that stuff right there it's gonna sound crazy but this was actually around a thousand dollars so kind of a very expensive cost but the rear of the car has seriously made such a huge improvement since adding these I could not take it off if I ever wanted to it's just it, it fits the car so well which again I know it sounds crazy because we're talking about cosmetics on the car and everything but like I said whenever I first bought the car it was supposed to have been a daily driver that just looked good and was relatively fast I don't know what happened since then but let, let's just keep going oh wait actually I forgot that that wasn't a thousand dollars I was actually about $1,200. My bad. 
Inside of here, we've got a PR welding ice tank in here. The entire kit for the ice tank, the lines running up to the supercharger, the water pump there, and everything else on this kit is actually around a thousand dollars. Now, as you guys have seen in quite a few of the videos, we have done a lot of suspension stuff on this car here recently. The Viking shocks that are in the car currently are about $450. And between the BMR springs, the bushings, uh, all the suspension components that they actually sent me for this adjustable tow rod, it's just a lot of stuff to really go over. So we're gonna assume the costs of all that stuff are around $3,000 for this instance. And again, I would go through every single individual part with you guys, but for video's sake and trying to keep the time down, we're just gonna skip over it and assume that it's $3,000 in this case. Now also, whenever I first got the car, like I said, it came with 373 gears because it was a performance pack car. That was really inefficient whenever I started adding a ton of power into the car because it was running out of gear way too fast. I was having to shift into almost six gear if I remember properly. Whenever I had 373s in the car in the quarter mile, that was absolutely not working. So I swapped down to 331 gears and because of that, I actually bought an entire new diff so I didn't have to worry about swapping out the ring and pinion gear and everything. I just swapped out the entire pumpkin and the cost of that was about $1,000 as well. Now moving on to the inside of the car here, some more recent mods that you guys have probably seen is the Watson Racing six point bolt-in cage that I've actually put in the car just probably a week and a half ago. And the cage cost about $1,500 from Watson Racing. Then if we move on inside and we get to the carbon steering wheel and all of the carbon accents inside of the car, such as like the shifter bezel, some steering wheel trim right here that is all carbon fiber as well. Start button, a few other really minor interior dress up things. We can probably account about $1,000 for that stuff. I know the steering wheel alone was about 450, so yeah, about $1,000 for everything else. And as you guys have probably seen in pretty much every video that I'm racing, I've got this engaged data logger here, which I use for flashing tunes occasionally, but for the majority, I use it for data logging. It stays plugged up in the car and um, it's ready for data logging at pretty much any time. Again, this car was tuned by Lund before the VMP supercharger and everything got put on the car. So the cost of the engage here is right at about a $500 cost, but it is a required tool. So now next up, if you guys have been along the channel for at least probably six months now, then you have absolutely seen the struggles that we have had with this hydro brake right here. The hydro that we got put into the car was supposed to be for helping with launching and everything. Uh, Garrett, Cletus McFarlane, he actually gave me the advice of doing that and kind of gave me some tips and pointers on how to get it installed into the car. I had a lot, a lot of trouble with it. And um, the hydro has helped a little bit, but really though, I just need to get more seat time, long story short, with the car before I can actually see the advantages of it. But hydro cost because of the extra lines and the fittings and everything else to make that work was about $600 just to get this hydro handle in the car. So it is functioning now though, so I can't really complain too much. Now, though it is not installed in the car yet, we do have this Kirky racing seat over here, which I need to get installed very, very soon. I just haven't had a chance to get around to doing it. So these seats are normally gonna retail about $150 with the cover that goes over it and everything like that. And to be able to put the seat into the car, obviously I need seat brackets. So I do have a seat bracket here that I got from Fat House Racing. I think it's, is it Fat House or Fab House? Fat Fab, Fat Fabrications. I don't know, something like that. The seat brackets alone because of some bracing and additional things that I had to get. I'll show you guys that in a later time, but that was about $350 as well. Plus um, something that we haven't really had time to talk about. This is all messy over here, so I do apologize, but we do have the parachute mount, all of that stuff as well to put onto the car. And I've got the bumper support actually coming in here in the next few days. So I'm still waiting on that to get the parachute put on the car, to get the seat put in and everything else, but that should be in soon. The cost for the parachute mount is about $650. And then the cost for the parachute itself is right at about $450. And again, the parachute is a pretty much required thing to have on this car at this point. It is relatively quick and I do want to have a parachute on there just in case I ever needed it. I don't think I'm going to need it every single pass, obviously, because the Brembo brakes on the car stop it perfectly fine, but it is going to be nice to have the parachute on the car. That way it's ready for whatever could happen. So yeah, after the parachute and everything that is not really installed in the car yet, I don't know if that's cheating or not, but anyways, to replicate the car to the extent that it sits at right now, and this is again, not even considering all of the previous setups that I spent money on, anything like that. This is talking about just as it sits, we're at 82,300 and $42. I'm sure that I am forgetting quite a bit, and if you guys that have been along with the channel for a long time since the beginning, you can comment down below and let me know if I'm forgetting anything, because I'm sure that I am. It's just, uh, oh, I don't even know. I am in absolute shock right now. $82,342. Ouch, that one hit me. That one hit me right here. So there we have it, $82,000. To replicate this car as it sits. It's actually wild. Something else that I want to mention while we're on the topic 
Um, I turned 21 last month and everybody started throwing around like the daddy's money and blah, blah, blah. And um, I just wanted to kind of talk about that at some point. So I made a post on Instagram basically asking like, hey, if I wanted to go over basically how I got to where I'm at and basically tell you guys everything about me and um, my childhood and growth and uh, I don't know, the come up, is that weird to say without sounding cocky? I don't know. Long story short, just basically explaining how I got to the point of where I'm at right now and basically exposing every single detail about everything and talking about a lot of stuff that's happened off camera and um, a lot of the interesting stories and stuff and I asked people if that would be interesting to talk about and if they would be interested in it. That post actually in the few days that it has been up has actually become the most liked post on my page since the page's creation. So I guess I'm considering doing that here in the next few weeks or so and uh, starting to do videos of like stories behind the scenes stuff maybe and uh, probably just talking about you know the background of myself and how I got here and my previous jobs and previous vehicles and all of that stuff so if you guys would be interested in hearing some stuff like that so that way you can understand a little bit more where the money came from to be able to spend probably close to a hundred thousand dollars on a car I would absolutely love to fill you guys in on that and um, I promise this is not like uh, my family's rich and everybody gave me money growing up and and now I'm here. That's it's really not like that. So I would like to clarify that first. Plus, I think it would just be interesting to be able to talk about where everything came from, where all the vehicles came from, where my previous vehicles came from, why I purchased previous vehicles, stuff like that, and even where I came from. So if that is something that you might find yourself interested in, feel free to drop a comment below and let me know. And for the next few weeks, I will be trying to plan out some sort of like maybe once a week thing where we do like bonus content of like story time or something like that. I don't know. So if you have any suggestions or requests or anything like that, drop them down below. I'll look at them. We'll start making a list of everything. I'll try to answer every single one of you guys questions some way or another in the next few videos so i guess that is going to be all for today guys that is the excruciating cost of this car that i have built so far i'm gonna i'm gonna be in a whole different mood today now that just ah. anyways though i will see you guys next me, video